When it comes to health, you certainly want all the assurance you can get. Every year, about 56 million people die worldwide. 35 million of these are due to non-communicable diseases. Tonight, we discuss a revolutionary and affordable preventive care technology, dry blood spot screening, that can help identify treatable diseases to prevent more unnecessary deaths. Joining us tonight is the developer of this technology, Jordi Marti Gascon, chemical engineer and Ashoka Fellow from the Making More Health Initiative. Good evening, Jordi. Thank you for Good being evening. here tonight. Thank you very much. So very interesting. Tell us first about the situation now worldwide. How many people are dying from such preventable diseases? We, we know that, that we, we, what we do is we study healthy people because um, prevention is not managing uh, the diseases. Yeah. It's managing health. Mm -hmm. And then uh, don't, don't communicable, silent killers is a main issue. In, in, for example, in heart diseases. Heart diseases. For instance, in, in, in Philippines, yeah. five out of ten dies due to cardiovascular disease. It is a big problem. Yeah, Another big problem. big problem you're also detecting with your test is diabetes. Mm -hmm. Diabetes, yeah. for instance, Philippines is uh, in the prevalence in uh, diabetes in Philippines is the top 15 countries in the world. It's yes. a huge problem. You have more than 4 million people diagnosed, mm -hmm. but the key issue is that you have much more that are not diagnosed. Yes. And the, what the average is that uh, you diagnose a person is 10 years later, mm -hmm. that way we can start to work with him. Yes. Now, blood tests are so common. We have them, but they're quite expensive, especially yeah. if you want more tests done. But what you're doing is you, you call it the democ democratization mm -hmm. of health because this is more affordable. How did you come up with a dry blood screening? Yeah, but allow me to explain a, a, a personal story. Yes. I please. was lucky when I was 20 years old, I joined the army, mm -hmm. and then I was spent one year in the emergency care unit. And then I could see the world through my patient's eyes. And then everyone at that moment, they, they told me, gosh, if I know it this before, I would have modified a lot of things. Mm. And then I tried to put this moment to any, anyone's life. Also, in 2008, I read in the newspaper that 40% of the people who die in card for cardiovascular disease could be prevented is as a child we check the cholesterol. Yes. We are lucky that this summer we went with my family holiday to Kenya. I went with my son to, to a hospital to vaccine against yellow fever, dengue, so things. And when my son entered there, she smelled the hospital, uh -huh. she, she, uh, he saw the, the, the needle, needle. Okay. he ran, cried, and then we thought what we can do in order to study healthy people. Mm -hmm. And then we, what we have seen is that for blood collection, the only thing that you need is what we develop. The, the, the only thing that you need is your finger yes. and a lancet. Okay. You, 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 never, you don't no need, need any more needles get anymore. so much blood, yeah. That is a traumatic yes. experience. And, and it helps. Yes, and it's normally for blood tests at least 4,000 pesos. This, and, well, pesos is about 400 mm -hmm. pesos. And now you've been doing this in, in Rio, for example. Yeah, you, together with uh, the government, which yeah. is Hospital Brazil, and Dr. Juan Fidel Bencomo, we developed this, this technology. And then there, we, last year, we did 84,000 pregnant ladies mm -hmm. in order to prevent vertical transmission between yeah. mother to fetus. Yes because it's quite easy. I mean, if the mother has HIV, the baby could have HIV. Of course. But if we know it and we give drugs to the mom, the baby has 98% chances to right. be free. So the point is really to just diagnose. Many people who cannot afford it don't know that they have these diseases, so you're able to, yeah. to diagnose. Now, you're here as part of us an Ashoka Fellowship. Tell us about what you're doing in the Philippines. You were just in Bacolod and yes, Cebu. Yes, I have been in Cebu and in Bacolod. There I had opportunity to meet the, the Ashoka Fellows from mm -hmm. Philippines. They are doing amazing things for, for, for people in the country. And, and then also we made some talks to students mm -hmm. in their way to, to share experience and, and help them to, 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 to do a step further in their way to democratize. We, have, we don't have to leave anyone aside. Yes. And then we have to find things that should be easy, effect, efficient, economic, accessible, democratic. That's mm -hmm. our, our solution. Right, so after this, you continue, of course, you go back and you're what the point is with this project, where do you see it going? But the idea is, is because we want to, 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 to be local, and, and then the idea is to have a lab here in, in Philippines for, for first to, to work with uh, diabetes, it's a main issue here, yeah. and, and then uh, to, to prevent the, this kind of diseases. Yeah, well, thank you so much for sharing that with us and mm -hmm. for being here, and all the best to your work, Jordi. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. De nada. Thank you once again to our guest, Jordi Marti Gascon, Ashoka Fellow from the Making More Health Initiative. Shorter weekend trips, that's the price commuters have to pay once repairs begin at the Metro Rail Transit. We'll tell you more about that when Nightly News returns.
keep it here.